Hi people, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Faith, men's personal style consultant based in Nigeria. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you something I should have discussed a while back, but I have intentionally kept it till this time because we are shifting into the ember months and we're going to be having events. So let's take this as opening the door for event styling tips for year 2023. And what am I talking about? I'm going to be reviewing a few looks from the AMVC 2023 that happened in May. May 2003 and the purpose of this review is not your usual fashion reviews for runway shows or for fashion or red carpets and all of that. This is just to help you figure out certain things that you can incorporate into your event styling for this year without hiring a stylist because you are watching this video. If this sounds like something you are interested in, you should definitely keep watching. To start off, all the things I'm going to be reviewing today have been categorized into about six different categories and this is to help you decide which area you need to work on when it comes to your event styling. I also need to mention that this year's AMVCA, we saw lots of men bringing their A game compared to previous years and that for me is a plus because men are beginning to see the essence of dressing the part, actually understanding dress codes and going to events appropriately dressed. This does not mean that there were no misses here and there, we are going to touch on that but I just want you to understand that that many of these looks where it eat. all right so let's get right into it the first category that i'm going to be looking at today is the noticeable trends so when we have all these red carpet shows from either a movie premiere a big award show like this one music or film you would notice that they bring in trends that actually dictate the trends for the year at least in other climes so we also had that at the amvca for this year and the noticeable trends which are going to see even in other categories is number one one plaid trousers and the second one is eeled shoes especially eeled boots for the flared trousers we see that fashion is literally evolving and it's going around in circles and now we are back to the 80s the things that our fathers used to wear they are back the first look that we can see on our screen right now is king craigs you can see this video showing the flared trouser and has a slit which is really nice another person that brought the flare into his outfit is Nick aquaphore you will see that the tie area is a bit tight and then it flares downward also when you look at neo aquaphore he had two outfit changes and both of them incorporated the flared trouser you will also see this guy steve chooks and the mvca nominee for i think online content you will also notice the flared trouser in what he is wearing another outfit that i really like is this one by shams garuba is wearing a ti nathan an outfit and you can see the subtle flare and the detailing around the trousers so this is something i think that is back and is here to stay because i have been noticing flare trousers all through the year since the amvca another person that brought the flare trouser is ifan ifani michael you can see how this outfit is slimmer at the tie area and then it just falls through at the lower part you would notice ill shoes everywhere in this video so just pay attention and you will see that this is something that is trending right now where men are wearing yield shoes especially yield boots now let's go to the second category which is colors versus skin tone it is very important that when you are dressing for any event when you are picking out outfits when you are shopping for outfits you are considering your skin tone i have an entire video talking about skin tones about colors that should work for your skin tone depending on your contrast levels you would notice at these events that there were people that took their time to wear colors that complemented their skin tone very well my favorite is for lagade banks this outfit by sense of humor ng did him justice because he is of a darker complexion the lighting here is making it look like he's not as dark but he is a dark guy another person that did justice to colors versus skin tone is tokme tedala tokme never misses all right that pink is really working for his skin tone and the different shades of pink also complement each other this is another way to do a monochromatic look with a flare another person that did this 
skin tone justice with the choice of color is toby bakare the amvca best actor winner for 2023 this pink jacket is everything and i like the fact that he played down the bright color with a proper tuxedo shirt and the bow tie and the patent oxford shoes is giving a very classy look altogether i also like that little touch of the pocket square that puts together the shirt and the detailing on the lapel area very beautiful and you can see toby was my favorite winner so that's why i'm wearing this color of jacket just to show solidarity to him i think he deserved the win another person that did his colors justice was praise nelson i think this purple is great what i really like about amvca this year is that a lot of men are embracing colors this is not something we used to see before men are now embracing colors and it's so beautiful to see especially when you know what color works for your skin tone praise nelson is looking so good in this purple jacket it's so nice now to those that did not necessarily pick their colors right the colors were not complementing their skin tone the first on my list is hero daniels i like hero daniels but i think the color choices that he made for his outfit they are kind of washing him out coupled with the fact that he took the picture in a place that also had the color of the shirt as the background so all the colors together is just making it look like he is washed out as you can see in this picture it is closer you can see the color is so close to his skin tone it doesn't do him any justice it would be looking way nicer if he was wearing something darker or if he wore a white shirt and then he paired it with a brown suit you know i think it would have been way nicer another person that didn't do his color choice well is ifan ifani i don't know what's going on with his outfit here this outfit is by rogue ng and i actually saw the collection when it was released it's a beautiful embroidered jacket velvet very nice but i don't think the choice of the color for his shirt did any justice it's just making him look all dull do you get what i mean so always consider that especially if you are dark skinned certain colors look really great on you but the things that you pair with that color can really just make it a eat or a miss as you can see in the picture from the collection the person was wearing a white shirt and it really brought out the beauty of the golden embroidered thingy on the jacket now let's go to category three and it's about accessorizing when you're going for any event your outfit is great but you need to pay attention to your accessories because they can make or mar your entire outfit the wrong accessories can make your entire outfit look very cheap and very tacky while the right amount of accessories can elevate a very simple look all right in my category of great accessorizing we have daniel etim effiong this jacket is already exaggerated the pattern on the jacket is already you know out there so if he did more than just that lapel pin it would have just been a very tacky look so this beautiful outfit by dj akola it really complements him the wide lapel also complements him and even when you look at his second outfit as well he made sure that he kept it so minimalist because the lapel is already doing so much is already exaggerated and the material already is busy so he just kept it very simple you can see his shoes he's also wearing a huge pair of shoes and just this ring a little bracelet a watch and he is good to go the second person that did good with accessorizing is ik ik never misses okay but there was an outfit he wore because it was the host it was the mc rather he changed about three or four times his first outfit i did not think that he needed all of those bracelets on his wrist for that outfit because the outfit already had a very blingy effect which was the accessories on the jacket but i particularly love this velvet blue tuxedo he kept it really simple honestly and then when you go to the other outfits where he had lots of beaded detailing on the top as well he kept it as simple as he could and i think this is what made him shine especially the shoes patent leather oxford shoes for a tuxedo look is always a eat all right so i loved that and when we go to accessorizing again we also had people come in their cultural outfits traditional outfits one person that did it for me was samuel perry he was looking like royalty he was dressed like a yoruba angel from head to toe that staff was a beautiful touch and when you notice you'll see the metal part of the staff is silver the studs is wearing is silver and then his watch is also silver and this watch has a, a little bit of gold so when he's carrying 
carrying is a word when he's carrying it everything just fits in and then you'll notice his shoes as well got silver glittering detailing on it so that was very very thoughtful even his sun shades every single thing complemented each other the beads everything was just perfect another person that did his accessorizing well was Elon Elo Elozona I'm always finding it difficult to mention his name he was the AMVCA winner for online content and the thing about Elozam's look is that the outfit itself was already busy it was a lot all right so he couldn't have done anything extra than what he did which was just to wear a wristwatch and that was it okay if he did more than that that outfit would have looked so bizarre plus his hair as well was an accessory so always bear in mind especially if you keep dreads of any length of any color or you tint your hair it is part of your accessory so when you look at him his skin tone the ray bands he's wearing the watch that has silver and gold you can see that everything matches it just has a ring and the wristwatch and studs and he's good to go so pay attention to the outfit you're wearing if he's got lots of detailing like these jackets this entire outfit he's wearing you see that even the waistcoat is double waisted all right so he couldn't have done more than that and i really like the fact that he kept it very simple the other person that is looking so great and did is accessorizing really well is miracle miracle op is seen in this amazing safari style suit and because the fit is so perfect and it's so simple it can wear as many rings as he is wearing he has four rings on two on one and two on the other is sun shades and then the earrings and every other thing is so clean i really like that accessorizing now under accessorizing i have this category i called could be better and in this category i have ik obona ik obona is wearing this nice tuxedo by jason posh and when you look at it you honestly don't think anything is wrong with the outfit in fact i love his outfit so much that he is one of my best dressed okay beautiful detailing simple i mean just look at the trouser everything is so nice even the accessories on him are just very minimal a watch a bracelet a ring simple and i think he has studs on and sunglasses which i don't think he wore into the event all but i think the choice of shoes really scattered this outfit because it's a very sophisticated tux i don't think this particular eeled boot especially because of the detailing in front i don't think it did his outfit any justice so even if you are jumping on a trend like the eeled boot trend like you will see in other pictures of other men some of them wore patent leather eeled shoes in fact daniel essence shoe would have worked better with this outfit okay i don't think that shoe was perfect for this particular outfit the next person's outfit that i think could be better is our daddy chidimo keme i honestly think that the choice of this suit the color choice was brilliant it was refreshing it was different it was so nice to see that color the damask vibe is everything we know damask is trending right now even for ladies outfits it's such a fresh look generally but i don't understand the shoes i think that the shoes kind of made this outfit look tacky because of that detailing on the top if it was a plain patent loafer i'm telling you this outfit would have been so great i understand that he's trying to make it match with the stuff that he is holding but when you look at what he wore for i think the the fashion show or something is wearing this very glittering um jacket and that shoe is also wearing the same shoe the shoe kind of works because it's all blingy blingy and then that shoe works you understand what i mean so i don't think that shoe worked for the main outfits for the day i mean the amvca award show night now to the not so great in terms of fit we have nigerian's favorite stylish doctor dr akifa minu i do not think i know i'm going to be stepping on toes but i don't think he did his accessorizing any justice akifamino is someone that
that you would always catch in fitted outfits so when it comes to the fit of the outfit he always nails it he is looking really nice in this dg and color number but the outfit itself the jacket especially already comes with a lot of detailing when it comes to the patterns on the jacket and he also has the custom the Giancola lapel pin i do not think the rings were necessary i think they made the entire look very tacky it was just a lot and this is where i'm going to chip in this popular tip by coco chanel that anytime you are done dressing up make sure you go back inside and see what is the one thing you can take off from your outfit i believe that if he had reduced the rings to maybe two honestly i that's if you needed two rings anyway like the rings were just a lot and it just made the entire look not as sophisticated as it should have been now let's go to the poorly fitted outfits see guys you did so well this year i'm really impressed and generally even after the amvc i've seen some other award shows and some other events that popular nigerian men have gone to and they nailed it when it came to fit but you will still see some people that are lacking in terms of fit of their outfits Speed. and the person that tops my list this year is kent edu Joby. i honestly think that this double breasted suit was not doing him any justice it looked a bit too tight around the waist it needed a little bit of allowance and just a bit of finesse you know in the making of the outfit generally i don't think this outfit did him justice i i don't know what was going on but it did not work and then the other person is ifan ifan michael honestly i don't know what was going on but this was not the outfit for him the fit just didn't it did not make him shine you know it would have been different if i didn't see this outfit from the collection in somebody else with another physique type wearing this and it just it just didn't work the third person on my list is someone whose name i don't know i tried to find his name but i found this picture on bella niger and when you just look at this outfit when you are looking at the picture you already know that the fit is wrong let's look at the jacket for instance it is long we can't see the shirt at the wrist the jacket itself looks big and what his outfit is doing to this man is that he's making him look like he has more weight than he naturally does the trouser is also poorly fit and the ironing of the outfit in general just does not work now let us go to another category that i really liked this year we had lots of men coming in traditional outfits which kind of was something i heard that had to do with the dress code of this year's amvca there was no consensus on what the theme for the year was but amvca had a lineup of different events prior to the award night show and some included cultural night something something so i think some people just carried the cultural thing and brought it into the award night show and my favorite my favorite traditional outfit of the day of the night of the year has to be kunle remy i mean just look at this outfit look at it the beading it was amazing the fit was perfect that black and especially because we thought it was going to win an award for playing saru in a popular movie the year before you know so this was just amazing like I loved it in Anikola Koya. I remember the name now. I love the house piece. I love the beading, the detailing, the the shoes. I mean, it was just perfect it suited him so well the stuff he was wearing, and then the photographer understood the assignments, the bracelet, the watch. Gosh i need to stop now but you get what you you understand what i'm trying to say the second person that did his traditional outfit justice was samuel perry i've already talked about brother shaggy looking dope in his beautiful yoruba agbada like proper traditional agbada another person that took this traditional outfit thing to another level was Femi Adebayo. I love the Arabian feel of this abaya that he is wearing and the fact that he kept his accessories very minimal because the outfit itself is already very overwhelming all right so beautiful Uti Wachuku also did this particular outfit by Black Adudu Justice I mean just look at the cap the goat skin or whatever animal skin was that was used, the beading, the sequins, the beads, and he packed his hair, he packed his dreads. You can see his feet as well. He's got beads around his ankle. The shoes. I mean, this outfit really, really made sense. I really loved even the detailing of the Agbada at the back 
you know it was so great and then my final traditional outfit that i really liked was this beautiful number by vance Kerry on dare at alade i mean when he was going to capture his picture he said to be president will fit me or you know it was so classy i love the fact that all the men in their traditional outfits made sure that the outfit did not overwhelm them all the outfits suited their physique type the proportions were just perfect and that is what you need to bear in mind when you are wearing any traditional outfit especially for your wedding don't wear an agbada that is just overwhelming your physique type okay and don't also wear something that is making you look like the outfit the fabric was not enough uh, do you understand what i mean so balance is always key to so look so beautiful this safari styled suit that's what Van Scary calls his traditional suit. Was so beautiful. The choice of the style of cap as well was perfect. You will notice a little bit of silver trimmings around the glitter. And so his bracelet was silver. His watch, I think, was silver. And the best part was what he wore complemented what his wife was wearing. So when you see them in their picture together, it just everything just matches so bear that in mind as well when you're going for an event and you have a plus one make sure that your house fits complement each other that way there is more beauty when you take pictures together it sinks do you understand the chemistry actually shows in your pictures now let us go to the final category and this is the category of outfits that did not understand the assignments Whew, guys you know, I said a lot of men dressed well, as you can see in all the categories that I've been talking about, you can hardly fault any look, but there were just some people that did not understand the assignment at all. And the number one person on my list is Emmanuel Umar. I don't understand what was going on in this look. I don't think it was the right outfit for the AMBCA. Even if it was for the fashion show, because they had a fashion show, I think it would have found a way to fit somehow, depending on the theme of the fashion show. But it did not work. That's one. Two is that the fabric and then the fit of the jacket as well. This is a colorless jacket. It should sit properly. It wasn't sitting properly on his shoulder. It was looking like it was going to fall. The white transparent thingy with all the flowers wasn't even properly ironed. I went to the designer's page and he talked about how all of these flowers were hand stitched and a lot of work that went into it. And I appreciate his art. I understand that fashion is art and it's manifesting in different ways but i don't think this particular art fitted into the ambca so that's something else you need to bear in mind when you're going for events understand the theme or the permissible thing you can wear if there's no dress code all right it just didn't work it wasn't ironed everything just looked so very tacky and this same designer made the outfits that she made more wore and again it was lots of flowers and stitched as well you can see and appreciate the work that went into it i just don't think that it was amvca fitting it just looked i don't know and then the, the thing about the choice of fabric as well it just wasn't sleek do you get it wasn't sophisticated it looked more tacky maybe if the flowers were less for the choice of fabric for the jacket if it wasn't velvet you know honestly it just did not understand the assignments for me the second person whose outfit did not understand the assignments and who normally understands the assignments for different award shows is Larry Hector. I know I went to his page and I saw lots of people say oh he has come shut down the show and I understand okay so you know beauty lies in the eyes of the B.O. but that's not even what I'm saying. From a personal stylist perspective I don't think this outfit did him any justice. One is the fit of the outfit. When you look at it it was so it was so tight you could almost see his private part like you could see it except we are just trying to lie okay Okay. it didn't work and if you compare this to what Temisan was wearing you see that the trouser was fitted do you understand it wasn't showing too much that's something about when men wear tight things don't think that because you don't have boobs we're not going to see other things okay so this outfit was it didn't enter AMVC. I did not understand what the broomy thing around his wrist was about. It just, it did nothing for me, to be honest. So sometimes your outfit can be very runway ready, but does it work for the event you are attending? This looked like a fashion runway thing, not an award night, a film festival thingy. And then the last person on my list and where I'm going to be drawing the curtains today is Dr. Romel Asaguara. 
I'm not sure I'm pronouncing his name properly. Pardon me. But this outfit by Sevon De Jano. Why? That's all I have to say. <laughs> why? I think the theme there is that it was a very beautiful color on his skin tone. That's the plus I can give him. And when I'm talking about colors versus skin tone, I think this red looks nice. But imagine this red in something else. Not the ruffles that were detachable or the feathers. The fit of the outfit itself was great. I... It, no... The, the outfit did not understand the assignments. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> and to wrap this up, I'm going to advise that when you're going for any event this year, please bear in mind the following. The fit of your house fits. Make sure it fits. Let the upper part of your house fit balance the proportions of your lower part. Number two is the accessorizing. If your outfit already comes with lots of detailing, keep your accessories as simple, as minimalist as possible. Number three is color you need to make sure that the colors that you are picking or that your stylist is picking for you suits your skin tone and also understand contrast as well especially if you're going to be in a room filled with different lights that's why you'll see that there were some pictures of IK and the colors look different because it was under another light so if you are hosting you're doing MC you have to bear that in mind as well the colors when the colors fall on your outfit on your skin tone how is it going to work okay also bear in mind that less is always more trust me less is always more and i understand that different style personalities will approach that principle different ways you may want over the top but even when you're doing over the top bear in mind your air certain things have to give your air your accessories the detailing the pattern on your outfits and the kind of shoes you're wearing as well to complement and tie the entire outfit together i'm going to be dropping more event styling tips as we go fully into november december but i wanted to set the tone by sharing this review from the AMVC and I hope you loved it. If you did, let me know. Share with me your favorite looks from my picks and the ones you disagree with. I always love to have these conversations with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!